non-programmers. And so the assumption here is that you don't write custom modules for Drupal already. Let's go with that. So we're, for our purposes, we're going to define a programmer as one who writes computer programs. And a non-programmer is one who will write PHP code today while learning Diana's five uh, rules of programming. And also, you'll be earning geek points because if you're going to become a programmer, there are certain other things that you will probably need to know. And so you'll get a chance to see where you are with that and how many episodes of Battlestar Galactica you need to watch in order to write good code. <laughs> For people who just came in, my first slide is says codepad.com. It's a lie. Don't trust it. It's codepad.org. Or you can use paper, pencil. So we're, we're because of the picture, we're starting 10 minutes, um, almost 10 minutes late. And I have absolutely no idea how to shorten my presentation by 10 minutes. So we will probably go pretty close to the hour um, when we transition. Okay, so. Please don't do mass exodus at the end. We will quit on time. Okay, so like I said, today you win. Uh, you score, if you score more than five points on today's um, uh, presentation quiz, you win the, the Grand Prize Award, Grand Prize Geek Award, which is the right to change your Facebook language to English Pirate. If you've never done this before, and you do get at least five points, you may want to try it. I find it endlessly amusing. <laughs> okay, so this is me. Uh, let's see. So my name is Diana Montanian Dupuy. I am a web chef at Four Kitchens. I'm a back-end developer, which means I write code for a living. Um, I have three pets, uh, two dogs and a ferret. Um, some books I've read recently, Outliers, I really, which I really like, The Room, which is fiction. The Tiger, which frankly is, I'm not getting through. I'm not really sure what was good, and now it's not so much. And Wolf yeah. Hall, which I really like. And um, when I'm not working, I'm reading a book or watching football. And when I am working, I write PHP code. So here are, is an example of all the things we're going to talk about today. Those are comments. Your code will ignore these. So you can write anything you want to. There's some very amusing examples of things that happen in comments, um, the sense of humor. But what you really want to do in comments is explain what your code is meant to do. That's, that's their job. These are variables. That's an array. array an array is a list of, of, it can be many things. In this case, this is a list of strings. And that's a conditional. And it's totally OK if none of that makes any sense to you now, because it will by the time you finish. So this is the first question, and it probably is the most important question of the day. Who will win the game today? This quarterback? Or this quarterback? And if you were in the Drush presentation yesterday, you don't get to answer. For the rest of you, though, I will give you a hint. There is a right answer and a wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody? Three-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. Yes. Oh, he even adds that. I don't know. That's like, oh, okay, you get a book. Yes. <laughs> and you know why he gets a book? Because in the Drush presentation yesterday, I said that he had five Super Bowl rings because I exaggerated. And he even knew that I exaggerated and gave the correct number. So if you really, really want to impress me, that would be the way to do it. So. Huh? Oh my God! Come, you get one book only. Sorry. <laughs> Come down and take your take your thing. Okay. So, what does PHP mean? Yes, that is what it means. For our purposes, who cares? Okay. Geeks, geeks love their geek talk. Oh my God, we love our geek talk. Okay, but. It really doesn't matter if you know what it's called. It only matters if you know how to make it go. That's your job, OK? If you are interacting with a person or a book or a website that's throwing a lot of language at you that you don't understand, that doesn't mean that you don't understand how to do it. It just means that you don't understand the words, OK? That the question and answer that matters most is the one that solves your problem, right? You're looking for the answer to your coding questions that actually helps you write code not whether or not you know 
all of the fancy words for everything and how that works, okay? But for most programmers, that's not enough. So if you actually want to know what PHP means, that's it. But it is hypertext preprocessor, that is, that is true, okay? Okay, so rule number one, self-educate constantly, okay? You will never know everything there is to know about PHP ever. Well, I don't know, maybe Rasmus does, but for the most part you won't. And every time you learn something, things change. So one of the, the fundamental things of all programming language, and it's the same thing on the front end too, HTML and CSS and Drupal, if you're constantly self-educating, you have 90% of what it takes to be a programmer, right? The rest of it, you can learn. Are you a Mac or a PC? How many Macs? Oh, I love you guys. How many PCs? You're okay too. Okay. Linux. <laughs> oh, yeah, and personally, Linux, Linux, the Linux people are the gods, as far as I'm concerned. They're like a little bit better than the rest of us, okay? And the reason I ask this is that there are lots of different environments to work on and ways to approach coding and, and solving problems. What you're looking for is the one that works for you.